day. Cheat day. Cheat day. Welcome back to Cheat Day. Today we are making pizzas. So, but we do pizza with a little bit of twist to it. I have Agnes pizza dough from the shop, what well, today. Uh, they're really good though, even when it's meant to be really quick and everything. And I got some self-made dough with an egg in it. And it's really delicious as well. I've done this before and it's really good. So, and my husband later, this is the twist to it, my husband later, uh, he will be blindfolded and he have to taste which one is from the shop and which one is mine. The thing is, um, he have to tell me which one is tasty as well. And he will be super honest, I know him he is. And yeah, and I will take you along with me today. pizza dough from the shop and I used them before honestly they are really good when you just want a quick snack on a cheat day that's perfect because you literally still can put everything on there what you would like to eat but uh, you don't have to make the dough but to be fair the dough is not really that hard to make but it's always a little bit messy isn't it I know people use so many different uh, sauces they do them by themselves or whatever but I use and I think it's delicious I use always pasta sauce and honestly you get it in different flavors but I used the tomato basilico one uh, they didn't have them with garlic and normally I choose them with garlic because I love garlic and I mix this with the pesto one and it's fiery me and my husband love spicy so that's good I always mix a little bit in there and because we love it spicy some jalapenos and also some onions and peppers and obvious cheese and tuna and this is my favorite it's so good this tuna really yummy can't be too runny but I'm gonna have this and I go through the edges as well so they don't get dry use the pesto oh yeah and the pesto is much much creamier than the pasta so so that's really good and it's not too runny or watery on the pizza. And whatever would you like to eat, you put this on your pizza. I do love jalapenos, they're so nice. So this is the first pizza down and this is the dough I bought from the store. This looks really yummy though. So now I will use my self-made dough and make the second pizza with exactly the same ingredients on top. So it looks my pizza what I did. Looks a little bit different, but still super yummy. I put them in the oven now and see you in a minute. So this is the pizzas. This is the one from the shop and this is the self-made one. So I will cut them now in pieces and then I will let my husband try. It's this one. I blend in which one it is. And you just give your honest opinion after you eat both, okay? After I eat both. Yeah, after I eat both. So, careful, it's hot, bite. 
And the second one, I'll let in which one this is. Here. Can I have another bite of that one? Okay. The same piece? Have a bite. So the second one had a nice crispy base, it was nice. However, the first one had a better flavour. Does it? Yeah. Okay, take the mask off. So the first one, what I gave you was mine. Okay. And the second one was Starboard. Yeah, but yeah, so the second one was a nice crispier base, like that. However, that had a, bit, a nicer flavour, unique flavour. Cool. So. He liked the store-bought pizza dough, better from the crispiness, and I totally agree, I just had a piece. Um, but, he liked the flavor more from mine, he's still eating. So, yeah. No, I think both are really good, I just had a taste as well, I think both are really good. But he's right with the crispiness from the star one, big store one, because, um, are they pre-baked? No, no. Yeah. I think yeah, see they're pre-baked so they're more crispier, but mine had the best better taste. So yeah Anyway, I hope you did like this video Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and we will eat pizza now Do we? Maybe we should talk about